Joseph Ripoll. This entry is titled Ubuntu, I Am Because We Are, and proposes a classically composed integrated plan located in the center of the park. It is a contemporary design and shows respect to the shrine area with its geometrically planned landscape proposal. The proposed internal courtyard offers the opportunity for natural lighting and open ventilation from the main chambers and other interior areas. The design, complex is, the design concept is orthodox and classical in its approach, and approach to the challenge which proposes a gathering space and landscaping to the south of the building, and we can see that much thought was given to the proposed intervention with the landscape of the park. That is Ubuntu on the screen. Hey, wait, it's already there. Yeah. The second is by GSA Architects and Planners, led by architect Gunnett Anderson with team members Adam Bridge. Emmanuel Mendingi and Lee Edgecombe. This entry, called a National Veranda, was developed from a strong concept of the tropical veranda and references classical elements of Jamaica's architecture. The building composition comprises open and closed spaces beneath an elevated and expansive metallic canopy supported by slender metal columns the composition is contemporary and integrates commissioned artist artworks in a variety of media, ranging from sculpture, murals, paintings, and multimedia, thus providing an interactive space appropriate for the 21st century. One element which makes the design very people-friendly is a raised landing which provides an enhanced experience for visitors to the park, offering views of the park itself, a panoramic a panoramic view of the city, the harbor, and surrounding hills. And that is GSA Architects' presentation on the screen. Our third finalist is Design Collaborative, led by architect Evan Williams, Christopher Bent, and Damian Hines, with an entry titled, Out of Many, One People. This project presents a clear and powerfully understandable architectural form. The scale of the project is monumental, and the primary expression is derived from an exploration of precedent and metaphor presenting a grand, heroic gesture that resonates at the scale of the city, as evidenced by the impressive aerial view that was formed, that formed part of the presentation. There is a direct and distinct reference to the work of architect Wilson Chung, who designed the National Stadium, reflected in the architecture and the structural form. This is an elegantly and expertly resolved proposal that will relate to everyone. And that's Design Collaborative's presentation on the screen. by Atelier Vidal and Ajay Associates, led by architect Ravi Sital, Vidal Downing, and Sir David Ajay. This project is titled The Grand Veranda, and the concept draws on the significance of the veranda in tropical architecture. The veranda engages the public through its sensitive site planning and the landscaping of the park, incorporating natural walkways and water features. This, des 
design also incorporates the African drum, bandana fabric patterns, lignum vitae blooms, and fretwork designs. Special attention was paid to sustainable design features and climatic controls. And finally, the fifth project is led by architect Stephen Facey with Patricia Green, Hugh Dutton, Laura Facey Cooper, and Jenna Blackwood, and is titled National Flower. This design concept derives from the petals of the national flower, the lignum vitae, and the shape symbolically caps the building. This powerful design statement of the petals of the national flower forms a shell-like roof as it covers the parliament with its high visibility from the surrounding positions in the parliament as the focal point of its design. Its natural design elements soften its relationship to the site by stimulating the building to the west, opens the site to sensitively pan, landscaping and shade. The connection to the sounding communities is very well respected through the integration of informal footpaths. As you have seen, some of the submissions proposed iconic concepts which built on a form that served as symbolic representation of our national aspirations. Others